Hello everybody, so today we're going to compare the cheap version of an item to the expensive version of the item. Here, let, let me just let me just show you. Alright, so the first item I'm gonna show you is uh this thing right here. Okay, not this cup, this thing. This is a three dollar incense. I don't, I don't even know how to open this. All right, so this is $3. I can see why, because this thing is so hard to open. And, there we go. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, okay, almost there. All right, we have these incense. Kind of looks like Pocky, okay? If you look at it closely, but they're just regular incense. Let's turn on these incense and uh, let's compare it real fast before I show you the expensive version of this product. All right, everybody. So this incense has been burning for about like five minutes now and uh, it's almost gone like this one. Oh yeah, yep. Okay, cool. So this is the $3 version of the incense. I'm proud to announce the $70 version of the incense contained in this Gucci bag. So this $70 Gucci incense is $70 because I have no idea why. So this is the packaging, okay? So when you open this, this is what it looks like. Wow! Ooh, this is, this seems nice. This is like Gucci, like, I don't know. This seems a lot nicer than the other one. It should be, it's $70. All right, kind of looks like this. Let's put it right here. Kind of matches the cup, to be honest, which is pretty cool. All right, this smells pretty good. I mean, just like regular incense, $3, nothing too special. What does this thing smell like? Let's light some of them up. This is how to spend $70 really, really quick. This thing burns a lot faster than the other one. There you go. Just like that. So it's like a birthday cake, just blow it out and then just wait for it and smell it. Definitely emitting a lot more smoke than this incense. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to light it up all together, but what does it smell like? Oh, that smells kind of good. That smells kind of good. Smell this. It's kind of like a floral. Oh, that smells good. Is it worth $70? <laughs> no, but it is Gucci. And if you want to feel bougie, you want to feel all the clout, this is the way to go. So this video is basically all about clout, like unnecessary clout. If you want clout and you don't mind spending 70 bucks and you want to waste some money, go go buy this incense here. All right, I'm gonna let it burn. We're gonna move on to the next expensive thing, okay? All right, the next uh, expensive useless clout object. This is a regular bell, okay? This is $2, okay, you can get this anywhere, really. Okay, really simple, nothing too crazy. This is what it looks like underneath, blah, blah, blah. So this is a $2 bell. I introduce you now to Tiffany & Co's $360 bell. This video is so expensive. <laughs> All right, so let's open it up. The packaging is really nice. I mean, it's just Tiffany & Co. I mean, they're just clout. And then we got open this. Wow, so nicely wrapped. Wow. And then we have a bell underneath this bag right here. Nothing else in this package. So, $360 Tiffany Co's bell. All right, we're gonna open this up. Let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. All right, so it doesn't come assembled yet. You have to assemble it. But the base of it is wood, which is different from this one, which is pretty cool. Pretty nice. And then the top of it, they're really very similar. I think the only thing different is this thing on top. This is probably why it costs $360, because this is made out of diamond. Okay, this little piece right here. So let's just, uh, let's, let's try to connect this as well as good as possible here. All right, so it's, it's good, it's here. But would you pay $360 for this Tiffany & Co. bell? Uh, okay, cool. At least you can see the Tiffany & Co. like logo. Barely. You can barely see it right over there. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these clout products you want. I'll give them away. Oh yeah, also make sure to hit that bell and subscribe so you get notified for new videos and uh, stuff. All right, moving on. All right, next up we have this crown right here. This is a regular crown, okay? You can get this from the party store for $10. Got this for $10. Simple as is, it can be like this, it can be the king, you can have the clout, but we have a more expensive version of this, okay? So let's play a game. I'm gonna pull out the expensive version. You gotta comment down below how much you think it is. All right. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a crown as big because we thought the crown we would buy would be this big, but it ended up being like this. Because you know when you purchase things online, you think it's bigger, but it's actually like not as big. This is the supreme version of the crown. Let me know in the comments down below how much you think this is. 
All right, so resell, I got this for $60, okay? $60 resell. So the cool thing about this crown is it, it has a smell, okay? This crown has a black cherry smell, okay? Let's open this up. Let's see what's up. Why is this $60, okay? It smells good. It smells like cherry. Smell that real fast. It smells good, eh? So I don't know if you can open it. Maybe you can put things in here. Oh, it's an air freshener. That's what it is. Oh, that's a cool way to have an air freshener. Have all the, the clout. <laughs> Spit it. If you want to smell it, close it. If you don't want to smell it. But to be honest, I like this better. You can put it on your head. It's kind of cool. Air freshener version. <laughs> no, 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 no. Next up, for all you hoopers out there, we have a basketball. This is a regular basketball, okay? So we're gonna play the same game. I'm gonna just bring out the expensive version of the object. You gotta guess how much it is. This is a Versace basketball, okay? How much do you think this is? Let me know. All right, if you said $100, you're wrong. It's higher than that. If you said 200, nope, it's not 200 either. This is $250. I mean, look at it. You don't even see the logo of Versace anywhere in this ball. Like, it's, it's just the regular, it doesn't even feel as good as this ball. This ball we got for like 40 bucks. This is a $250 ball. Why is this any different? This is like, what? what? <laughs> Uh, all right, I guess we can we can try to test it out and see if it makes any difference between your, your performance, I guess. Let's check it out. All right, so let's test out the bounce of it, okay? These are both inflated the same. These are bouncing the same, which is pretty cool. This one has a rougher edge than the other one. This is definitely an outdoor kind of basketball. Compared to this one, this is kind of like hybrid or whatever. So let's see how well this is. So this is the regular one, okay? Good, this is good. Will this thing help me with my shot? Okay, it's the same. Performance wise, they're the same, nothing different. Why is this 250 bucks? Does it taste different? No, it's just like rubbery. This one tastes good, to be honest. No, no. What? Next up, we have a water bottle, okay? This is a Nalgene water bottle, $14, okay? $14, all right? I have the exact same water bottle by a bathing ape, nicely sealed in the bag, okay? We have the exact same water bottle, all right? Except this one has a sticker or some kind of design of a bathing ape right there. Same exact thing, okay? How much do you think this is? Let me know in the comments down below. Give me two prices. The original price and the resale value of this water bottle compared to this $14 water bottle. The price of this regularly is $60, okay? I paid for the resale value of it, which is $200 for this water bottle! What is that? What is clout? Why do people buy this? Uh, I kind of just wanted to give this, like it's literally the same thing, except this is a black font, this is a white font, and there's a design right there. Can I even peel it off? Okay, at least it's like nicely stuck in there. So this is, a $200 bathing ape, Nalgene bottle, and this is a $14 uh, bottle, okay? Let's see if it tastes any different. So let's put some water in here, okay? All right, let's try it out. Let's try the regular one first. Ah. All right, here's the bathing ape Nalgene bottle. Ah, see? There's no difference. All right, everybody. Next up, we have an axe. Regular axe. All right, let me ask you a question. Okay, this axe is $18. We have an, a hand axe from Supreme. How much do you think this is? I bought this for $85, just for an axe. Anything for the clout. You want the Supreme sign? Yes. Hand axe also comes with an axe case for protection. My question is, how well does it perform? Okay, so let's take this and now uh, just follow me real fast. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of ax throwing, okay? So we're gonna start off with this first. I'm just gonna hit it right here, okay, ready? Okay, so I made a hole just like this, which is kind of cool. Here, actually here's a box. How well does it cut the box? Okay, we'll do the box test. No force at all, just like that. This one I'm actually gonna throw, okay? So everyone back up! Here we go. 
Wow! Right in the dimples. So at least we can give Squidward here some dimples, which is pretty good. And we're, we're gonna do the cardboard test. Ready? No force at all. Wow! Man, that's pretty good. All right, next up, we have a blender. This is your regular mini blender from Ninja, not sponsored. This is, you could probably get this for like 30, 40 bucks in the store. How much do you think this Dolce and Gabbana blender is? Comment down below. By the way, did you see that? The time, go back to the timestamp 350. Let me know in the comments down below what you saw. This is a whopping, not 100, not 200, not 300, not 400, not 500, not 600, not 700, not 800, but $850 of blending. Dolce and Gabbana. What makes it so special, I have no idea. I have no idea why I bought this. Simple blender here, simple instruction manual. The Schmeg Dolce & Gabbana blender. We have some tomatoes, some oranges, and some lemons. Here we go, 10 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one. Okay, $40 blender. What we got here? A little bit of, little, a little pasty. It's not like super blended, but it did the job for 10 seconds of work. Let me just pour it into this plate so you guys can see. There you go, it kinda looks like a little mashed. Now, this this beautiful thing of just look, come here, let's appreciate how nice this is. Like, look at the design of this. Like, this is so serene looking. This better be the best blender in the world because this is some crazy pricing, okay? All right, so let's put the same thing. All right, that was, that was a good 10 seconds. So you really gotta put it to the maximum power instead of the smoothie mode. So it's more like, it's more gushy like that. This is pretty good. Is it worth 850 bucks? I mean, if you want this, I mean, I feel like you can get a good blender for like 100 bucks that does the same thing, maybe even better. But Dolce & Gabbana, clout. All right, this is the last product I have for you today. It's simple, okay, it's just a snorkeling set. All right, this is your basic um, $20 set I bought from Amazon. Really cool, actually, your regular one. But there is an expensive version of it. We have the Supreme version of it. Really nice casing here. It actually looks pretty cool. Really simple as is, just like this, Supreme, Supreme, Supreme. This is $95, $95, all right? Does it even work well? All right, let's find out, shall we? We have the cheap snorkel set. Let's see how well this thing works. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Ah. 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 Okay, we're good. So this one is uh, pretty, it does the job. I could still breathe, which is pretty amazing. So uh, let's try out the expensive clout version of it, all right? All right, here we have the Supreme, $95. Let's see how well this is, hmm? And go! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, thanks, thanks, man. Whew. It does the exact same thing. So if you're thinking about getting a good scuba dive gear, just go grab a cheap one, okay? Thanks for watching. Cloud's cool, but like, invest your money wisely, yo. Get property. Stay juicy.